JT Taylor at Hedgeye Potomac, I'm the chief political strategist uh, and chief macro strategist. Uh, the, the top things that Trump will tackle in his first 100 days, along with the Republican Congress, are likely to be an ACA repeal um, effort, number one. Number two, they're likely to take on a number of Obama-era regulations. Uh, again, Trump in conjunction with the Republican Congress, there will be a number of regulations that Trump tackles uh, via executive order. Uh, Republicans on Capitol Hill are looking at uh, using a process called the CRA to repeal a number of uh, regulations through the legislative process, so that will be a bifurcated effort at undoing uh, a, a number of regulations uh, from, from 2014, 2015, 2016. Um, and then finally, uh, they'll be looking at the early stages of tax reform and getting that process started. In the meantime, they'll have Senate confirmations uh, of Trump nominees uh, for, for the cabinet agencies. There's likely to be a Supreme Court pick. Uh, a lot of this will take up time uh, in the Senate, of course, where, where the rules vary from the House. And everyone is focused on the first 100 days. I think folks are now starting to talk in terms of the first 200 days, knowing that um, they're going to need more time to pass a, a lot of the things that both Trump and the House, Republic, House and Senate Republicans want to pass. Given the uh, majorities in the, uh, Republican majorities in the House and the Senate and their mandate from the election 2016, or what they feel is a mandate from election 2016, uh, the first item up for bid is the Obamacare or ACA repeal. Uh, and that will happen soon after Trump is inaugurated where the Senate will take up a, a, repeal, a repeal bill uh, in late January, likely to move over to the House in uh, mid-February and be passed by the House in mid-February. Of course, uh, the raging debate right now is how long the replacement part of uh, the repeal and replace effort will take. Uh, whether it's two years, as many would like to see it, or maybe even three years. And there's a, a, a bit of a pushback against three years right now. Uh, so we'll see what, what faction wins out on that front. Uh, secondly, I mentioned earlier that tax reform is going to take up a lot of time on, on Capitol Hill. And that, that process will start uh, early on and probably continue throughout the winter and into the spring. Uh, and then they will be looking at a vehicle called reconciliation. Um, to uh, pass tax reform or look to pass tax reform at some point late spring, early summer. And then finally, they'll be, you know, again, working with the Trump team uh, and President Trump to uh, undo a lot of uh, regular, uh, sort of the regulatory overhang uh, that's been, in their words, handicapping American business for years. Congressional Republicans will generally be supportive of, of Trump's policies. Uh, up to a point. I think, again, with tax reform, uh, with ACA repeal and replace, uh, with regulatory reform, and potentially later a, a Dodd, some sort of adjustment to Dodd-Frank financial, reg financial regulation, um, there will be unity for the most part. I think you get into what I call GOP on GOP crime. Uh, when you start talking about things that will add to the deficit, such as a transportation infrastructure bill. So there, uh, things get a little dicier uh, when, we get, when we get to that issue, and that's where Democrats may come into play. But for the time being, there is unity on Capitol Hill amongst Republicans and uh, with the incoming administration. Again, it will likely continue. You know, there will be differences here and there, but it's likely to continue throughout the winter into the spring. But again, as you look at uh, the debt ceiling vote in March, as you look at um, um, a potential infrastructure bill uh, in, in, uh, in later in the spring, uh, that's when uh, time for divisions uh, um, uh, may come up, may arise.